Hi, I'm Dr. Brian and you might know me as Dr. Nikki at your cervix. And today we'll be talking all about the breast self-examination. So studies have shown that 8 out of 10 women are able to detect lumps or masses in their breasts from their own breast self-examination. So it's important to know how to do it. It's a two-step procedure and we start by just looking and the next step is to feel. So what I want you to do is stand or sit in front of your mirror and I want you to take off your clothes to look on both breasts. You're looking at the contour of the breast, you're looking for any swellings, you're looking for any dimpling of the breast, any redness of the breast, and you're comparing both. You're looking at the nipples if there's any discharge, you're also looking if the one nipple is inverted and another is everted. You're looking for any changes between both of your breasts. The next thing I want you to do is to put your hands on your hip. So this can accentuate any lumps or mass that is there. And then I want you to turn to the side. Look on, looking for the same thing and turn to the other side. Then I want you to lean forward. So some of the lumps might not be visible unless we do these maneuvers. And the next thing I want you to do is to raise your hand. So you raise your hand all the way up and some lumps that may not be accentuated with this maneuver can be accentuated and you can see start seeing any puckering of the skin as in your hand pulls up any muscles or any lumps that's there to make them more prominent. So remember, it's this, 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 and then you go forward to raise your hand up. Then we're going to move on to the feel. So with the feeling part of the examination, you have to lay it down. So you're going to lay down on your bed or on a flat surface, and I want you to put your hand behind your head like this. And you're going to take three fingers, your these three fingers, the index, the middle, and the ring finger, and you're going to examine or feel your breast. We usually recommend two or more fingers because if you use one, you may feel your breast tissues and mistake them for lumps. So we get three fingers and we can examine the breast in a circular motion or we can examine it in an up and down fashion. I like the circular motion, I'd recommend that one. But it's important to know that we're feeling from your collarbone or what we call the clavicle, come to the sternum, which is the center bone right here, and we feel, 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 and we also go to the armpit because we can have what we call lymph nodes or cancer spreading to the lymph nodes as the first sign of cancer that you might detect. And at the end, you're going to go to the nipples. You're going to press the nipples or express anything from the nipples to see if you're getting any discharge, any pus from the nipple. And you do the same thing for the other breast. You just change your arm to basically use the other hand and you do the same procedure to examine your breast. And we recommend you do this every month to ensure that there is no lumps or masses in your breast and if you do find a lump in your breast it's important to go and get it checked out with your doctor remember early detection save lives and that's it for this video if you have any other questions don't forget to drop it in the comment section below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to nikki at yourself so that's more interesting content until next time see you soon bye